I think you need to slow down. Too slow? Okay, just like this, okay? And your normal is probably a little quicker. I'm gonna let me know if there's sound now. Right down the middle. There you go, good. Okay, good. I don't know what happened before. Now let's take it off. It's weird. Personally, did your plane big increase? So a big increase in plane, back foot in the ground, which is what we were just working on. And now we're going to take it off and we're going to throw. And the point is to see how much he can stay tall and quiet uh, now that he's had that on. With the harness on, he was, 80, he was I mean, not throwing 100%, 80-47, which the idea of the harness is not to throw harder while it's on. It's to, it's to, I mean, with younger guys, we see that. With an arm like this guy, that's not really what, that's not really what you'll see. You'll see it. Uh, improve efficiencies and movement and economy of motion and help your motor patterns and then once you take it off like he is right now is where you see a difference this is a proven arm right here so minor league guys so it's not going to be the same and so what we want to see is that he's staying taller and the hands getting out in front of his back heel staying in the ground longer so his ball is going downhill more it's 88 right there let's see what he's saying is does that feel different than your normal that looks good right there. I mean, there's a little little uh, thing that we need to adjust here, but other than that, it looks good. Cool. That was front four, right? You feel your yeah. shoulders good? So that was the biggest complaint uh, when he came in, was that he gets forward too early and chest down. So, so far, this has really helped him to stay tall longer. Seen this product help big time with people's breaking balls too, just by making them stay back heel on the ground longer and taller longer. Does that to you? What do you think? There you go. It's good right there. Good play. Here's the issue. When you start like this, you're committed, right? right? And then you have to slide your way into the command. Here, you can pick where you want to go. 
it's going to take some time, but that ultimately is everything has got better quality on it. Just don't jump, right? Same thing, just stay connected to your set. Once you start down as you can go, you don't need to come all the way down. Down right? here too, yeah? No, no, no. This stays straight, it's that right there. That to me has late. Way sharper too. That's way sharper, even though it's in the camera. I don't see that out of your hand. And I see that probably probably about right here compared to the other one that's back. Difference in down angle once he stayed back on the slider better, um, it got sharper. I understand what the feelings are and that kind of stuff. Uh, I think that I feel what it, what it makes me want to do, and then, like I said, when I take it off, it's like a conscious effort to do it correctly. Yeah, right. No, when you when you do it right, do you feel? Obviously, it's not going to be built in one day, but do you feel like, wow, this could have some major benefits? Yeah. If, like right? I said, it feels good. Fastball is definitely down more. Yeah. I want to, and obviously, you want more velo too, but I think that'll come. Oh, I, the I patterns think, are correct. Yeah. I think you're going to, I mean, you, it looks effortless. It, when you did it your old way, it looks, you're like trying to get up on it, and it's flat. When you do it the correct way, obviously, it's going to take a little time, dude. The ball's just like, I feel like you have really good command left and right on that. You and know? that's why I said when I do it correct, it's slow. Yeah. Or, yeah. And then I get to like want to go gain speed and I. I'm but to you'll be able to connect those two eventually, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point. That's the point. And yeah. you're not going to be up, down in a game, but it's just you got to sink it right to where. Because if I'm up and I go, well, then I'm falling, right? And then I've got to do a bunch of things. It's basically I've got a big weight here, but if I'm up, down, then my support goes first and then my power comes set. You see where I'm going with yeah. that. And that's what we want. That's that's basically the same. So I've you know, let's uh what is your next day routine? Tomorrow. Just uh, just regular throw. throwing? Right. Okay. So why don't we do flat ground tomorrow okay. and get some long toss in. Right. Um, and you know I'd like to see what let's let's go back in and actually let's just take a look at this stuff here. I think I have all right, guys. So, hey, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. Uh, we had a couple of different videos tonight. I don't know what happened with the audio on Periscope on one of them, but I'm going to put it up there anyway so you can just kind of see. And you're looking for the difference in angle and the back heel staying in the ground. But that one right there, I mean, it's effortless. Same speed he was um, when he was trying to get up. Oh, what's up, Brandon? 
when he was trying to get up on it before, you know, he got easy and threw it about 80% right there and was still up at the same level. So, I mean, what it's trying to do is it's trying to economize movement and getting you to stay taller through your delivery. So, I mean, it, wor I mean, it works and we're really excited about it. So, tune back in tomorrow. We're going to throw some guys on it. Um, tonight we got training. Um, uh, we got one of the guys from King 5 coming in to, uh, to broadcast training tonight on Facebook. So, uh, check it out. And, um, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.